You're already renowned in India as an inspirational leader and a social entrepreneur with a massive appetite for calculated risk taking. You've led remarkable work in the technology industry while being committed to philanthropic work. Can you take us through the journey that led you to HCL? HCL Technologies is actually a very young technology company in India because we only listed in 2000 and in 21 years we've grown to the third largest IT company in India. I'm a fairly young chairperson so I think it's been a journey of uh, learning. Australia has been a strategic uh, geography for us and um, f perhaps since 1999. So like I said, even though HCL Technologies listed in 2000, our business in Australia actually started in 1999, even before we listed. And today, um, you know, we've grown to about 2,200 people on the ground. Um, and this includes, of course, the acquisition that we've done as well. And um, our intent is to further deepen our roots in Australia and then, of course, we also have very deep relationships with financial services companies in Australia. So we hope that in the upcoming years, um, you know, uh, our relationship in the country and with the companies there really keeps growing. And we do want to grow locally as well.